Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken, we're playing Impossible Iron Man, hardcore difficulty, highest difficulty, single save game, no replays, and it's time to take down Atlas. As mentioned in the last run, I wanted to spice it up a little bit and see if with uh, Torque um, instead of Cherub, we can improve the team even a tiny bit more. I'm not yet sure. Uh, if this is going to play out uh, perfectly, but uh, I wanted to see how a fully leveled up Torque is going to fare together with the others. Uh, Cheer Up definitely has uh, pulled uh, more than his weight in the actual team, and I totally like the interaction of a very uh, def uh, defense strong uh, team um, that could with, uh, withstand uh, whatever um, the enemy was throwing at them. Um, on the other hand, I must say that uh, Torque is, an, is a pretty strong character, so I could imagine that this year is going to be an equally strong team. Brace for impact. Holy shit, that's an interesting way of breaching. All units get plus three mobility. Yeah, right. After you, um, after you charge into a wall like that, everyone gets plus three mobility. Sounds about right. It's go time. Time for a good old holo scanner. And it is go time indeed. We're looking at what? A mech and another mech, bomber, hitman, a commando, another hitman, another mech. I mean, it looks doable. Let's just get the mechs out of the way. We could. Could we levitate the mechs? No, we can't levitate the mechs, so that is not an option. Which brings us to the second best option, aka just killing them. Yep, worked like a charm. An impressively strong entrance. Both of the mechs immediately died. How was I supposed to know with Shrike's firing range? I'm gonna go with find some new blueprints. Okay, we got two encounters, and I would like to keep most of our firepower for the second encounter. Corporation onto Blue Blood. We can take out that one commando. Can we hit the mech? No, it seems as if the mech is just barely out of range. Or let's say it rather can't be seen. I mean, we can, we could go like this. That's an option. I think that's not a bad idea, to be honest. Dropping the hammer. I was hoping that we could get rid of uh, the cover here. Hmm. You know what? Let's give Blue Blood some more turns. Time to kill the commando. Almost down.
hitting this bomber. There we go. And we're just using face off. Uh, whilst we're at it, um, well, let's shift that commando further down the line. Very nice. How about we're taking out this guy completely? Oh, well, not completely, but almost. He can hit his friend. Target weapon in play. Disabling shot does nothing to us. We do have um, an auto loader. Good. So first things first. Let's get rid of the hitman over here. Perfect. We could hand over uh, actions, but I think we're better off taking the hitman. Thank you. And just binding him. Yeah, we're easily going to heal that back up. The mech unfortunately was out of range, so we're going to take some damage here. I'm out. Instant reload. Mac down and Overwatch. I mean, we got this one here pretty safely. Um, no need to hit him really. Verge can simply mind fray him. And we'll heal for one more. There we go. Oh, you should have healed for one more. I don't think they know you're here. Okay, they know. Get a move on. I'm seeing a lot of activity on the 80th floor. There's an elevator ahead. It should take you right there. Just shut off that damn alarm. Good, we got a lot of options here. Pass through the sentience, automatically enters Overwatch, is marked. Um, I like this here. But the question is, does anyone else have a healing option? No. Yeah, I don't mind the marking too much. Let's just get the healing, um, the healing done. So cease fire. Uh, we're healing everyone. 
and Torque just breaches with them. And I crashed the game again. The healing uh, definitely crashes the game. I can't. All right, I'm pretty sure that it has to do with the healing. Uh, so we can't use the healing. It just uh, it just uh, lets the game crash. Instead, let us. I think that's valid here. Let us try this here. Had I uh, known that uh, the healing would be bugged, I would have probably just um, just healed up beforehand. We're now a little bit shy on healing, but whatever. We're eventually getting there. Let's get the Dominator done, down first. Necromancer is next. Good. And that is two important enemies down. And we got a lot of psionically active characters here. The elevator needs a key card. One of these Shrike goons must have it on them. There, grab that key card and head to the 80th floor. Okay, one of the things that I noticed is uh, we could require, uh, we could use some healing here. Verge is definitely okay by himself. I mean, we could second wind everyone. Hmm. Probably not not dire enough of a situation. Let's help Blue Blood. See, teamwork. It's not hard. Kills a bit of momentum, but I think overall we should be fine. Prepping that resonant here. Unfortunately, just a grazing shot, elsewise he would have been dead. There's another resonant. Well, you picked the wrong target, buddy. That's Verge. And that might have been a mistake, because uh, this is the classical two-for-one situation. Alright, getting the... Psy Ampli... Oh god, they are hitting nothing today. Teleportation to here wouldn't be too bad. But also not absolutely needed. I think what we can do instead is... Let's grab the Resonant and just kill him. So almost down. He only received one instead of two acid burn, which is hilarious if you think about it. Controlling the other resonant, unfortunately just for a single turn. Getting rid of both of them. Oh, the sorceress is immune. Good to know. Good to know. And... How about we're... 
starting to invade the paladin's mind. Well, that's the worst person that he could have shot. But anyways, we're healing back up. I'm fine. And so far, really nothing has happened. Psy domain to amplify everyone's power, which is good. I mean, that's a good move. Paladin might mind merge. Yeah, that's a mistake. This is effectively a two for one kill. Let's see, we can definitely kill that Paladin or that Paladin. I think we're taking the first one, simply because our odds of hitting are much better. Nice hit, even into full cover. There you go. Like I said, two for one. Sorceress takes the spot. And decides to sacrifice him. Handing over an action to Blue Blood. Blue Blood will kill the Resonant. If we do Lightning Hands, that should not take an action. It's a free one. There you go, the Deflection will kill the Resonant. And he still got his turn, perfect. Uh, that's a 50-50, but I think we're going to be fine. Again, it's a two for one. And we've just removed his cover. Perfect. I continue to heal everyone. Virch will heal by himself. Tor gets the healing. The Sorceress is running out of spells. Releasing the bind here. Hundred percent, fifty percent. Can we tongue grab him? No, we can't. Okay. Yeah, but we would still take the shot regardless. So, trying to hit this guy. If we kill him, it's game over. There we go. Are we fully healed? Virch is missing one hit point, but I think we're fine with that. Okay, the panic uh, plus his overwatch uh, are indeed a real problem. Got the key card, and there's the elevator. Okay, good enough. We're overwatching. Very nice hit. Oh, 
All right, moving up. And I'm almost inclined to simply overwatch. Because she has extra overwatch shots. We're still, uh, still dealing with a panic. Um, let's make sure that we stand our ground in the meantime. Moving over here. Should have probably taken the shot first and then moved because uh, we would have been in Overwatch. Perfect, that's the first target. He's going to die. And he's probably not going to die, but he's close to death. Good, we gotta continue moving. Let's kill the android. And I would continue to overwatch here. That's one hit, and Tongue Pull will hand over an action. Oh, I was hoping that we could actually get this guy. Well, a bit wasteful. I could have used it on the two robots. Let's get rid of the cover. Oh, that seriously did not kill him. Whatever. Moving up. All right, blue blood. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I need to invest more actions to heal everyone, but we're fine. Let the high tech spray do its work. Just what I needed. Moving another action over to Blue Blood. And he would be like what? Two, four, six, eight. He's dealing at least ten points of damage. There you go. Uh, 
Um, I don't want to. I don't want to go through the asset, so we're moving to here. On the go. That's it. And we are overwatching. Don't get twitchy. Next turn we can simply move out. Reloading Good to go. and by moving him over here, he's going to take Overwatch automatically. Alright, so let's pin this guy down so that we can move out of here. I'm surprised that none of the Overwatches hit, um, has hit a single target. That's really disappointing. No one moved up, but that's fine. Birch gets into position. We still need to heal him. And I want to enter the last map with full hit points. should kill him. Yep, very well done. We could easily stop them if we wanted to. She's one hit point down, so let's give Verge A healing, we're moving over, then we are tongue pulling. I'm not sure why we can't tongue pull why we can't tongue pull terminal, but okay. Everyone's on the elevator should be good enough for us to go and there we go guys one hit point down but overall okay and this should be the final confrontation
Good. Units automatically overwatch, uh, enter overwatch. Enemies deal plus one damage during the breach. Okay. Blue blood goes in first. Do we have anyone? No, we're not using refresh because we know that that crashes the game. Okay, sounds like a very good um, order. <clears throat> we got a Guardian, an Arcolite, an Adder, another Adder, another Arcolite, and another Adder. I guess we gotta deal with the Adders first. The Guardians are good targets as well. But given that the Adders are aggressive towards us, might as well just take the shots and kill them. Alright, we take one shot. I will fire if they reposition. Everyone's on Overwatch. Is this really the entire enemy force? It feels a little bit weak. Yeah, we can hit two, okay. So before doing that, let's kill the adder. The whole overwatch thing, I mean, great and all. <clears throat> but if all of the enemies die right away, then there is nothing to overwatch. I guess uh, that's okay. Pretty sure that there are going to be a few more enemies. Let's move up. Tong pulling terminal over here, giving her an action. She is essentially healing herself before she's healing on the way. blue blood, and now everyone's back to full. Into the action. Tracking you. The editor had no turn whatsoever. Yeah, we just got two waves and that's about it. I need a better angle. All right, Overwatch with Blue Blood. I'm filled with confidence. We cleared the enemy wave so fast, they didn't even have a chance to actually group up properly. Ready for him. On the run. 
Everyone's in solid cover and we got so many overwatches. Yeah, that's some reinforcements, but not scary enough to to really make a difference here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we're not close enough to um, take the overwatch shots. even hit anyone because they are so far away oh my gosh well we we would have ever vigilance so might as well move over here and still go for an overwatch Okay, so taking out the Legionnaire. Yep, solidly stunned for two rounds. And thanks to our banish ability, the Praetorian should die. Bam, one hit. His armor will not help him as we're sh continuously shredding him. Two hits. And down he goes. Yeah, they are not so tough when you do have proper weaponry. Blue Blood is moving up. Let's hit the bomber. Nice hit, very nice. Fortunately, he will get a turn. <coughs> yeah, but with 90% dodge, there is not much he can do. All right, hitting the bomber. He's poisoned. Great. Ah, we can't tongue pull him, which means I'll just double shoot. The passive ability to shoot twice is so good. over an action to verge verge decides to battle madness let the bomb bomber run mad So that's the final, uh, the final sort of reinforcements. But for a team that uh, has enough healing and better positions, I do not see how they are going to really make a difference here. Your mind falls away. And you know. I mean, one of the things that we can do is, I haven't used it uh, so far, but with puppeteering, 
might as well turn them against their former friends so they do have proper targets to shoot at, right? Right. Alright, start hitting the Cobra. It's a nice little critical hit. Lightning hands. Takes her immediately down. And this here should deal damage to both of them. Dropping the hammer. Locking target down. Not enough ammo. Okay, we can't really pull someone closer, so I would say we're going for a different position. Still can't pull them with a the tongue. Well, I guess we're at least in full cover. Yeah, and look at that. Uh, we can pull them out of cover. Oh yeah, let's get the purifier down. That's one hit. And that's the second one. Hitting the brute. And even in full cover, thanks to our our mental network, we're still hitting him. Well, that wasn't difficult at all. I thought it was the last mission, but I might have been wrong. Oh, okay, I see. We're just continuing. Successful shots will stun the enemy. I like it. Plus 25 to aim. We can use it here. And let's get into the hopefully last mission, uh, or the hopefully last map. I can see a couple of centurions, but a lot of hit points doesn't mean uh, doesn't mean anything for us at the moment. Oh, I see how it is. A thrall, a lot of Praetorians who can take shots at us. Okay, and a sorcerer. Fair enough.
I would say we're just trying our best to get them down. He's poisoned. He's poisoned, and he's um, he's poisoned plus um, acid burning. Might as well take the thrall. I think he should. He should die. But given that I can't kill any of the others, might as well take the safe route here and be sure that he's definitely going to die. Ah, a little bit of damage, nothing major. That's calm. Lay down your arms. <laughs> no. Reminded this city what it needs to survive. You don't know what you're talking about. The elders will return. We can only defeat them by tearing the weakness from our hearts. Was that why you killed the mayor? A handful of casualties today, or a whole world tomorrow. It's an easy choice. Sorry, I missed that. I was considering which of your arteries to open first. You won't acknowledge the stakes? Fine. Strike. Destroy them. Okay, easy enough. So, let's use a motile intruder and give Blue Blood here his turns. Can't e wow, can't even use uh, face lands, so that's bad. There we go, that's more like it. If I give a cooperation over to him, he should now have his cooldowns. No, I was dead wrong. He still does not have his cooldowns. <sighs> Disheartening. Okay, so we can heal everyone, but we're not really injured. Alternatively, I could kill the Sovereign, which I think I will do. Yep, he's dead. Too bad. All right, we can, if we deal with the Ronan, uh, that's a pretty solid chance to get him. Whom else uh, should we take out? By the way, we're not really we're still not really injured, but just rather be safe than sorry. It's a free action. Yep, 
Is Chain Shot going to end her turn is the question. I think the answer is no. Move into here for free. Let's kill the Ronan. Very nice. Fuck, it ended the turn. I could have uh, still killed the Praetorian. My bad. Yeah, I'm still learning. Uh, mm, the ability wasn't fully clear. Taking out the Praetorian here. Solidly stunned for two rounds. And... You know what? Let the Praetorian uh, kill the Thrall. There you go. Sorceress gives him another turn, which is clever. I like it. Well, we do have problems hitting anything else. Might as well take away the cover. Well, we can also overwatch, like that's not a problem. So move in here and getting the overwatch ready. Alright, easy enough. I think it's a good moment for second wind. Which crashes the game, so it's not a good moment to use that ability.